There are a lot of business, big and small, that were affected during the pandemic. We are hopefully in a post-pandemic stage. So what are your plans to help these businesses? Well, first of all, what did we do during the pandemic for the businesses? We understand the challenges they're facing, the closures, and uh, they had to re remove a lot of people who were working. These are realities that we had to face. One thing I did immediately, uh, as soon as the mall closed down, I, I spoke to Green Hill Shopping Center then, and I told them, please give concessions to all your locators. Don't charge them your normal rental fees because understandably they cannot pay. Would you rather they all close and your mall will not have a single locator anymore? So that's something that I personally told them. And they were very receptive of it. So for the first uh, few months, there were concessions from uh, the mall management for the locators. Next, how, how can we revive businesses? Again, people would want to enter a mall, a restaurant, or a store feeling safe. So what did we do? When the vaccination program started, we immediately set up a vaccination center in our main commercial area, which is the Green Hill Shopping Center. We had two sites in Green Hills. One was in the Theater Mall, and uh, the other one is in V Mall. Why? So that there would be no reason for them not to get vaccinated. They will just have to walk a few minutes. They will not have to pay for anything. They can get vaccinated. Their first dose, their second dose, and eventually their boosters were also given to them. We passed, well, uh, I issued two executive orders, executive order number 81, which was uh, an executive order encouraging, no, not mandating because you cannot do that encouraging em employers to get their employees vaccinated every time an establishment is able to vaccinate 100 percent of its employees we install a 100 percent fully vaccinated sticker so that someone who would like to eat in a restaurant once they see this seal the safety seal they will know, okay, I will enter this establishment because I know it is safe. I will not worry because the employees are fully vaccinated. Executive order number 82 is the VIP program. That is the vaccine incentive program. This gave, even up to now, it still gives incentives and discounts to anyone who can show a vaccination card. So this is a win-win situation for both ends for the vaccinated individual, he or she can get discounts and privileges once they enter a certain establishment that is part of our VIP program. And on the other hand, for the establishment, it increases their foot traffic because now anyone who has a vaccine card can potentially be a customer because they know that there are discounts and privileges waiting for them. So these are out-of-the-box ideas that we came up with. And I believe it helped our uh, businesses survive during the pandemic. We were also able to secure around 800 slots of 5,000 pesos each for our changueros who were affected. You have to be masipag huh? in terms of communicating with the national government. There will always be funding available. Pero itong funding na to, they will not fall on your lap. You have to seek out for them. And this is where your being uh, resourceful will come in handy. Hindi pwedeng intayin mo lang bumagsak sa'yo. Kailangan, you have to seek out for it. You have to communicate with various departments, communicate with cabinet secretaries, secure this funding, and implement. These are things that we were able to do. We also had 19 waves of food packs, 19 waves of ayuda. Kami po ang pinakamaraming beses na namahagi ng food packs ayuda sa buong Pilipinas. 19 times during this pandemic. Ano po ang pinapamahagi natin? Bigas, delata, noodles, mga mask, alcohol. 
things that people need things that will help them survive ang pinaka battle cry ko walang san wanenyo ang magugutom nitong pandemya and it really helped them because a lot of them nawala ng trabaho nagsara yung negosyo hindi makapasok kasi sabi ng mga negosyante no work no pay sarado ng ilang buwan wala silang papasukan so we had to really help them a lot of our budget was realigned to the ayuda and during the course of all of this even up to now during the campaign every time I present everything we did ang pinakamalakas sa palakpakan parate yung sa ayuda kasi unprecedented siya and the tendency is nagko-compare Siyempre, sabi, oh kami sa San Juan, 19 waves na kami. Yung mga kamag-anak namin sa ibang lugar, hindi. So, nakaka, nakakataba ng puso. No? Knowing that it's something that they appreciate. So all of this, uh, we were able to do to help our uh, businesses, especially those who are San Juan uh, residents, because we can legally issue financial assistance to them because they are constituents. So, kung nawalan ka ng trabaho, kung nagsara ng negosyo, pwede kami mag-issue ng financial assistance sa kanila. At yun po ang aming ginawa nitong pandemya.